I mean, everybody thinks they know what photosynthesis is. I remember the first time when I started writing and I decided to write a paragraph explaining photosynthesis. And I think I spent three hours reading <laughs> 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 to try, you know, because I, I, I talk about all the light and then the leaves and then it, you know, stuff happens, you know, plants need light and they make it, you know, but really I didn't understand how fascinating photosynthesis is. So uh, can you expand on that a little bit? Sure. Uh, I think most people understand the basic concepts, right? Um, and the one thing that makes plants special really is photosynthesis. They're, they're one of the few organisms that can take the energy of light, uh, the carbon from CO2, and combine them into new molecules. So the two key things there, one is the carbon molecule and the other one is the energy. So the photosynthesis process creates a bunch of new uh, molecules that have this carbon in it and, and they slowly build up into larger and larger things. So sugar is, is mostly uh, carbon and oxygen and starch is the same thing. They're just different forms of that. But the important thing is that it does have carbon in there and it, it's energy. Right? So we're taking the energy from the sun and, and we're putting in these molecules. And in, in my book, I describe them uh, as sort of little batteries, if you like. Um, the plant is recharging its batteries. And that's what photosynthesis is all about. What I find really fascinating is that if that didn't happen, almost all of the life forms on, on Earth would disappear. Yes. Uh, if you think about it, we, we all need to find this carbon source and we need to find an energy source. And all the mammals and insects, uh, we all live on plants, either directly or indirectly. Yes. Uh, even when we eat a cow, right? They, we think, oh, we're eating meat. But, well, we're, we're really not because the cow ate the grass. So what we're really doing when we eat a cow is we're eating grass, right? It's the grass that photosynthesized and it took that carbon and that energy, put it together into these molecules that we need. And those molecules are the energy that, are, that drives our body. Yes. And we, we don't really think about uh, living forms as sort of this, uh, you know, so being so driven by energy, but we are. Um, everything we put in our mouth, the, the main reason we do that is to get energy out of it. Yes. And when we digest things, we take these big molecules and we slowly break them up into smaller and smaller molecules. But as we're doing that, we're, we're taking little bits of energy out there. And that energy is what allows us to, you know, walk around and eat and stand up and do everything that we do. Without that energy, we couldn't do that. Yeah, um, I find it. Interesting that when people talk about diet these days, they'll talk about protein and vitamins and minerals. Yeah. And, you know, really it's, if you didn't have the energy, none of that would matter at all. <laughs> none of that, that really matters. I mean, th those are also important. They're all right? important. Yeah. The protein is, is adding the nitrogen component and, and that's almost as important as the carbon. And of course we have some vitamins thrown in there as, as well. And we need those as well, but uh, without, the, without the, the energy, the rest doesn't matter. We, we need that energy. Uh, the one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that plants do the same thing we do. So they photosynthesize to make these compounds, but the body at the same time, the plant body now, is also using these molecules as an energy source. So they're taking in oxygen, just like we do. They're taking the sugars, they're digesting those, they're sucking the energy out, and they're producing CO2. So plants are producing CO2 all day long, day and night, and all really? parts of the plant. So whether this is a leaf or a flower or a root, they're all breathing just like us, right? And part of that breathing process is sucking this energy out. You're left with CO2, which we have too much of now. We, we need to get rid of some of that because we, we want the energy part, right? So plants actually do two things. They, they make these chemical compounds, these sugars, and they also use the sugars to get the energy out, right? Um, now, luckily for plants, they're able 
to photosynthesize when the sun is up and they're able to make enough sugars that they will survive overnight in the darkness. Not only that, but they make excess so that they're actually able to grow, right? Um, you know, it's it, almost like, I remember reading it thinking it was like when you have a, you know, a, a solar powered device and it charges during the day, so it can, like, you know, if you had a solar refrigerator, it can sort of charge up during the day, and it gets, it's got enough charge to, like, run overnight, maybe run a little bit, maybe, you know, you know, maybe it's always got 36 hours of energy on hand, just in case there's a night that lasts, you know, you have a night with a rainy day the next day or something like that, but it reminded me of that, just that storage capacity. That's right. And, and plants actually use a, a special compound called a, ATP, which yeah. is its, its battery molecule, right? So it, it charges these ATP molecules and they're floating all over the plant. Whenever part of a plant needs some energy, they take that ATP and, and pull that energy out. But they're, they're just like little rechargeable batteries. So the plant is, when the sun is out, is recharging. And you're right, they have to plan for, for instance, perennials, they have to plan for the winter time when there are no leaves, right? Uh, trees, even evergreens in the winter become less active. So in the winter, these evergreens are still photosynthesizing, but very little. And so they have to now build up enough energy uh, and, and that's usually in the form of sugars and starches so that they can survive through the winter until next spring when they make new leaves or it gets warm enough so they can start photosynthesizing again. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, we're going to get to that a bit later on about when we talk about roots, because, you know, the one thing you say in the book is, you know, we, we say the roots are dormant, but they're not, not nothing going on. But we'll talk about that um, in the root section. But yeah, it's like, uh, oh, okay, I thought there was nothing going on. But, yeah. you know, they need energy, right? Because they're not it's different than a seed, yeah. uh, which is another, there's energy in a seed too, but that's a different thing altogether. Hey folks, want to help support everything I'm doing here? Check out my sponsors, Vessi's Seeds and Safer's Gardening Products. For Vessi's, go to their website, Vessi's.com and use my coupon code GAVS23 and you'll get free shipping as long as there's a pack of seeds in your order and there's no oversized items in your order. Check out the description box of this video for details. Uh, for Safer's products, Woodstream products, you can buy all the things I use in my garden, slug and snail killer, BTK, and all. You can buy that from Vessi's, or you can go to their websites uh, for a much wider range of products to solve just about any kind of problem that you can imagine uh, with high quality natural ingredients like oils from seeds and flowers and stuff like that. Uh, for, if, you, if you're in Canada, go to woodstreambrands.ca and as long as your order is over $69, you get free shipping. If you're in the United States of America, then go to saferbrand.com. And as long as your order is over $45 US, you'll get free shipping from them. So yeah, if you want to help support the channel and the podcast, and they sell something you need, buy from them, and that'll help support everything I'm doing here. Thanks a lot. <laughs>